What is up guys? Welcome back to another Dogecoin video. We got some big things going on with Dogecoin, especially yesterday or I guess this morning it's like 12 30 a.m whatever it is saturday night live was an absolute disaster no one really seemed to be super interested in skits i think most people were just really interested in dogecoin didn't really work out and of course the coin fell from 71 cents all the way down to a low low price of 41 only for a split second before bouncing all the way up to 58 cents now if you guys bought the dip or slowly bought the dip into dogecoin if you bought it at like 49 maybe bought it at 47 cents, you are making a lot of money right now. Look at that beautiful V-shaped recovery here for Dogecoin. Now, let me give you guys a little background story about what's going on with the technical analysis because I feel like TA for cryptocurrencies is way more effective than technical analysis for stocks because stocks have so much external factors. Sometimes a TA doesn't work well, but for crypto, technical analysis is absolute gold right here. So we got to talk about the TA of the first surge and the second surge, which is the current surge right now. You can clearly see a lot of things are being sped up in the current surge. Now back around mid-April, you got a consolidation here, second consolidation, and a third consolidation. I talk about this in all of my videos. This is also very similar to the consolidation right here, right here, and right here for our current charting. And if you go back to mid-April, you got Dogecoin forming a W-shaped graph, and you have Dogecoin forming a W-shaped graph right here. Massive plummet for Dogecoin, which is exactly what happened this morning, or I guess last night, however you want to call it, during the SNL events. And afterwards, Dogecoin, around late April, started surging all the way up, which is very similar to Dogecoin right now, a massive surge up. Now, what's super interesting is Dogecoin, after dropping in the first chart, it actually lined exactly when Dogecoin first consolidated in this massive rally. Now, this is also very similar to here. It's matching the same exact graph. You clearly see the correlations here are extremely similar for both of these charts here. I'm telling you guys, look at the technical analysis. It's so similar. And in my video today, this afternoon, if you guys have been watching my Dogecoin videos, I said this multiple times that Dogecoin will most likely not drop below 50 cents. And even if it did, it will be having a massive sharp rebound. And I also said this before, please just follow the history trend of Dogecoin. If it's doing this, and it's also doing this back in the old chart, it's gonna go up. And guess what Dogecoin happened? It went up. If you guys follow the technical analysis, if you just look at it, it's super simple. And once again, Dogecoin is going up. And what's even better is it's going up without that much volume. What's really scary is something like this. You got a massive red bar here with Dogecoin drop from 65 cents down to 54 cents, a 10 cent drop within just two hours. And that's on just very little volume, only 1.1 billion. But these massive green spikes that are worth like five to six cents a piece, they're going up in less than a billion volume, meaning a lot more people are buying in and very few people are selling. And what I'm guessing is possibly maybe 80% buyers and 20% sellers compared to this, which is like 80 to 90% sellers and only maybe 10 or 5% buyers because you don't really need that much volume for it to drop this much. Compared to something like this, you have almost two billion volume, but it barely moved at all, meaning we finally hit a good equilibrium. Just so happened, that there was a lot of buyers and a lot of sellers, about maybe 60, 40, or 50, 50. But now it's spiking all the way up without that much volume. Like, look at this. It didn't even need that much volume. 84 million volume, and you got Dogecoin going from 56 cents to almost 58 cents. That's a two cent gain. That's pretty impressive here. I feel like Dogecoin is finally recovering. And like I said before, the SNL event is not gonna be a make or break event. The SNL event is really just the Saturday Night Live it's skits, it's jokes, and sometimes the jokes aren't even super funny. But what I wanna tell you guys is just, just put the SNL event under the rug, just don't ever talk about it, and let's just focus on Dogecoin and the real life implications of Doge. And also keep in mind that the biggest well of Dogecoin, which they are holding 36.7 billion Dogecoins, roughly 28% or almost a third of all the coins in circulation, this massive well is still very active. I don't know why this well is always buying a little bit of Doge, like 54 coins, 50 coins, like one coin here, one coin there. I think they're trying to show people that, hey, 
We're still active. We're not actually dormant. By the same time, we're actually holding a lot of Dogecoin. Now they used to have 43 billion Dogecoins, but they did sell 7 billion Dogecoins like several months ago. But recently there's just been complete dormant. I mean, they're not really moving that much. They're not really buying anything. They're just totally asleep. Also keep in mind that the second biggest account is the same thing. There's virtually no buying and there's no selling. I mean, yeah, sure, they did sell like a million Dogecoins, but they still have a total of a whopping 5 billion Dogecoins. That's intense. And the top 10 wallets control 50% of all the Dogecoins. It's a little bit scary, but also keep in mind that the majority of these massive wallets have not actually sold Dogecoin, which is a good thing. And then you also have massive accounts like these. I don't know where these accounts are coming from, but they're most likely not from billionaires. They have to be from hedge funds and big institutions like banks, because even billionaires have trouble raising $1.4 billion in pure capital. Because billionaires, no matter how rich they are, mostly have their assets in stocks, stock options, assets like houses, boats, or private jets. And it's very, very hard to raise a billion dollars in cold, hard, liquid cash. Only the big banks and hedge funds have that kind of money. But around May 6th, some guy out there bought 2.7 billion whopping Dogecoins. They spent roughly $1.45 billion USD and they bought it at roughly 52 cents. And guess what? They're still holding it. Now, don't get freaked out about this red thing. It's only selling one Dogecoin. I have no idea why they're doing that. I think they're just trying to show people they're active or maybe they're just doing it to make sure the account is in check. But overall, not that much movement. They have not bought or sold anything during the SNL event, even though it dropped from 71 cents all the way down to a low price of 43 cents. I mean, these guys have the most diamond of diamond hands, not afraid at all, even at a massive loss but now they are up a large chunk of money. What I'm saying here is you have a lot of major accounts here not really selling much. I think yesterday the reason why it went down so much was people started selling the news. Everyone just started selling, but now everyone is buying. All of the whales that recently sold the Dogecoin, and keep in mind that when they were selling, they weren't selling more than 20% of the portfolio, meaning that they have a big attention of buying back the coins that they just sold. And guess what? They are buying back the coins right now and they're enjoying their money and all the retail traders with paper hands are just unloading shares during this massive plummet. I mean, the fear was just way too much, but now it's going back up again. So if you guys have bought the dip, big applause to you. You are up a lot of money and also check out the private Discord server below, link in the description. We have a massive free trial going on. It doesn't charge until June 1st and also check out BlockFi, link in the description, click on it. Make a BlockFi account, deposit some money, and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. And by the way, BlockFi also allows you to purchase Dogecoin, which is pretty awesome.